What's up guys, Spiderbot here, and this is what I like to do every day. I just leave my Clash of Clans open and I admire my epic spider base. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Today we're going to talk about uh, the next update for Clash of Clans. And uh, Supercell has been releasing some information on their Clash of Clans Twitter. And I know they typically like to do this. They have these little sneak peeks. Uh, they have these images that they post, and hey, look what's coming up in the next update. And I think the update usually follows a week or two. Uh, I don't know if it's from the start of these sneak peeks or the end, but it's coming very, very soon. It's going to be coming over the next few weeks anyway. So I just wanted to go over them, and it looks like it's going to be heavily weighted towards Clan Wars. And I'm just going to pull up our latest Clan War. Man, we totally destroyed it. Our, our team, our clan totally destroyed this clan war um and uh, like i said the last few clan wars ever since i came back to uh clash and we've been doing clan wars i've been weeding out the in inactive players um there's some players that are gone for some you know bad belligerent language and and you know not uh, not stopping one requested etc but also guys that i've i've kicked out that have been inactive inactive in the clan wars so it looks like we're slowly getting to the point where everybody's going to be active. And I think in the first four hours of this clan war, we were at like something like 90, 90 stars. And uh, we still have, I know one of these guys was kicked out um, that is on the war map, but we still have three attacks left that guy, that players haven't uh, used. So we can squeeze out 114 stars if we, if we really try, if we get these guys, which is the whole intent. It's like, guys, get as many stars as we can. I don't care if it looks like we've won. Get more stars. I want more stars, okay? So as far as the update, um, the update is geared heavily towards, at least uh, so far, with the three images that Clash of Clans has posted on their Twitter. Uh, the first being, again, towards Clan Wars, the first being um, when you go into uh, one of these, you know, on, on your clan uh, on prep day, then you can give troops, right? So it's similar to if, if uh, people are requesting troops in their clan castle, they go to their clan castle, and uh, here's what I have in my clan castle, and you can request troops, but I can't right now because I just did, right? Well, on the war map, on prep day, if you go to your clan's page, then you click on them, and um, you can donate troops to their war castles, right? Well, if somebody donates crap troops, there's nothing they can do, and especially in a clan war, um, you know, they, they're just going to be stuck with those clan, those crap troops. And, and you guys have probably seen it even just on the regular, uh, requesting troops from your clan. Sometimes people will send you like, you know, and would look at this image here that they posted, right? Somebody w sends you goblins, <laughs> goblins in your clan war. Well, you know, those aren't going to be particularly useful. So you can actually get rid of them now, or you will be able to get rid of them. It looks like from the update, you can dismiss the troops. Now I'm pretty sure the troops just disappear like if you dismiss them from the war castle i don't think it's it's going to go back to the player that donated them um a for one because their army camps could be full but b also it doesn't make sense to, to give the troops back if you're going to dismiss them they should be lost at least that's my thinking that's my thinking as to the way it's going to work so which is cool so if you're in a clan war and you check your war castle and it looks like you know, some, some one of your clanmates sent you crap troops, and you can't tell which of your clanmates sent you them. Uh, you can at least dismiss those troops and request some additional ones or some better, better troops. Okay. All right. The second thing, and now if we go to the stats page and we we look at uh, the replay, we go to the war log from our last one where we won 105 to 93. Uh, we can see the details, etc. Um, but we can also on the current uh, the current war we can look at uh, what the results have been so far. And this just shows every individual attack, right? Every individual attack, and you can go and look at the replays. Well, there's not really a good summary of the stats for this war. And even even if we go to a past war um, with the war log, I mean, the stats, okay, you know, you have battles won, total attacks, average destruction, uh, and that's it, and the stars, right? And that's it. Well, looking at this image, this is the second sneak peek image that they posted, was we're going to be able to get more stats. And, and we, it looks like we have, you know, attack totals, attacks used, attacks won, attacks lost, remaining, three stars, two stars, one star, new stars per attack. And I'm sure there's more, and I'm sure there are more stats. But it looks like it's going to be, you know, if we look, go back and look to, to the page that we're on right now, 
we're going to get a whole lot more information. And that's good for, for me, especially for me, because I like to look at that kind of thing. I like to see how well we're doing and, and in what areas we can improve. So that's going to be a cool addition. All right. The last, uh, the last one that they posted this morning had to do with, uh, with uh, editing your base. Now, if we go into the editor, and this is something that I've wanted ever since they put the edit mode into Clash of Clans, was the ability to save a base layout. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that's what's going to come because it looks like uh, from the image they posted this morning was that you're going to be able to edit a war base. So you're going to be able to have a separate war base that you use for clan wars, which can be separate from your regular base that you use in, in just regular multiplayer. Okay. Um, that's cool and everything, but I really would like to see the ability and I know we can remove everything, but, you know, maybe on the, on the right-hand side, the top right or something, you know, I want to save this as a base layout. Save it as a base layout and be able to redesign my base completely and apply the redesigned base, you know, as my base that I want to use. But then if I want to, okay, so I change from the spider to something else, well, I want to be able to go back into the edit mode and select my spider base and it'll instantly just change my base to the spider base. Now, obviously, there are there may be issues with that, like if I add additional buildings um, or upgrading walls, I'm not sure how they would take that into consideration. Or let's say I got to Town Hall 9, and I, I added a bunch of buildings and all my walls, and then I went back to edit mode, and I selected my Town Hall level 8 base. But, I mean, really, if that happens, all they really have to do is, okay, so apply your Town Hall 8 base, but then here are all the extra you know, all the extra stuff, like when we go here and remove this, have all the extra stuff that was placed since I went to Town Hall 9 down in, in the menu below, and then I know that I'm going to have to place that before I can save it as my current layout. Okay, does that make sense? I think that makes sense. I don't know. So I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work. Uh, it looks like maybe on, on the war page you might have a separate layout possibly for your war base as opposed to your regular base. And which is good because I know a lot of guys like to farm and it's kind of a pain, especially how their, their farming base is configured. It's not necessarily easiest, the easiest thing to do just to convert it into a war base. The war starts and then convert their base back to a farming base while the war is going on, right? Because once you're on, once you're on battle day, your base is set. You can't change your base in the war. So if you change it on, you know... If you, if you do end up changing it, it only changes it for multiplayer. It doesn't change your base layout for the clan war that's going on at the time. So, anyways, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, it might be a little disappointing to those of you who don't participate in clan wars to see that every single update that we've seen so far looks to be for clan wars. But, you know, considering the fact that uh, clan wars hasn't been out for that long, uh, I do think they need to do some things to uh, to improve upon that. And I know people have been complaining about matchmaking as well. Um, our, I think our matchmaking was pretty decent here. But you also have to consider that um, it's pretty difficult to matchmake. I mean, look at how many clans, you know, and I know there are a ton of clans and Clash of Clans, but the problem is when you're going up and trying to, to create or start a clan war, you're... You can start at any time. I mean, people are starting at, you know, whatever time of day clan wars run every two days. It's not like, okay, we're doing a clan war. Everybody starts at this point in time. Like, every clan in Clash of Clans starts at this point in time. If, I mean, if they did that, the matchmaking would be way better, but it would be way less flexible as far as when you want to run a clan war. So, you know, once this one's over in 48 minutes, then we start a new one. We got to find, we're going to be matchmaking with other clans that are also looking for a clan war at that particular point in time, right? So matchmaking is not always going to be the best. Sometimes it's going to be slightly lopsided in favor of your opponents. Sometimes it's going to be slightly lopsided in favor of you. But I think it's not bad considering uh, what they have to go through to match up clans with the number of players, with the trophy levels, with the base defense levels, etc., etc. I think it's pretty damn good. I think they've done a, a, an excellent job with these clan wars. So... Uh, stay tuned. We'll have more. Uh, hopefully, if they post some more sneak peeks, we'll bring those to you over the next uh, coming days or, or week or whatever. And then uh, let's look for that update to come very, very soon for Clash of Clans, guys. Anyways, I'm going to go back to uh, to looking at my base. And I can't wait till I get all my walls black. My walls to level 8. 
It's going to look way better than with the purpley walls, right? I think so. We'll catch you next time, guys. Spider out.